The CDC reports that more than 40% of high school students reported poor mental health during the pandemic. And to make matters worse, there is a serious shortage of therapists to actually treat these kids. Tonight, WBZ's Brianna Pitts introduces us to a Shrewsbury teenager who found a way to help her peers get through this tough time. In a makeshift studio in what used to be her big brother's bedroom, Caitlin Smith talks. And I didn't really tend to fit that mold. About life as a teenager. It's more competitive than ever for students. But this Shrewsbury High School senior is tackling a heavy topic that impacts millions of teens. I'm starting a mental health podcast. Caitlin's own struggles began before the pandemic. She says she fell victim to the competitive grade culture in her school. It was very very tough for me seeing my peers um, just knock out A plus after A plus after A plus when I was struggling and I kind of um, I saw my worth in my grades. With the help of a therapist she's learned how to work through her feelings but during the pandemic she noticed many of her classmates were also struggling with anxiety and depression. A thought dawned on me that no child should deserve to feel that way and child to child there wasn't really a discussion about mental health. Welcome back to the Modern Adolescence Podcast. Caitlin has produced episodes on everything from asking for help to tackling the transition back to in person learning. I'm so glad that you're here. And while we were there, an episode about the college admissions process. A school 10 years ago that you would have been a target for is now suddenly unobtainable. Teens love to share with other teens. Mass General Psychologist Ellen Broughton says teens can benefit from hearing their peers talk about having similar struggles. They can improve their self-determination. It can improve their self-esteem. They become more hopeful. Um, they just have increased better mental health overall. Your worth is so much more than that. It's the actual kids who come up to me and they're like, this is so important or this actually helped. Like I feel seen in my struggles. That's, that's really what makes it all worth it. Caitlin is heading off to college in the fall and plans to stay behind the mic. She hopes to have the same impact on campus that she's had in high school. The Modern Adolescence podcast can be found on YouTube. Brianna Pitts, WBZ News. So smart because I think so many of these kids, we were saying, are just so lonely. I, I, didn't, I did an interview the other day with a priest who is working on helping people with mental health. He says it is the younger generation that is helping the older generations to understand mm. that it's healthy to talk about your feelings. It's true. And they do all the time. Yeah. Well, on Thursday, by the way, join WBC for Mental Health Action Day. Throughout the day, we'll be looking at the mental health needs for all of us. And we'll have a half-hour special at 530, where we will explore some of the tools and treatments that are available.